here we are doing our first unboxing and it's not an unboxing of your typical board game it is Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure now Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure came out in 2009 uh, for the online catalog company called RT McPhee and it was an exclusive through them and I think it's basically a joke gift but it's an actual board game it's listed on BGG at like 4.3 or something like that and the way I got it was through a, through a math trade on BGG I clicked it as a joke and I forgot to unclick it, meaning, you know, I clicked it meaning that I wanted it in trade and I really didn't and I just forgot to unclick it. So it was my own fault that I had to send somebody an actual game and I got this in return. So I said, why don't we have a little fun with it? We'll do an unboxing. Maybe in a few days to a week, we'll actually do a playthrough and we'll give our, our opinion on the game. If we look on the back, we see this happy little Bacon family, and they're playing the game. A game, by the way, in which you lead Bacon to a frying pan at the end. So that's kind of a creepy thing to have a Bacon family actually play in this game. But it says on the back, Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. Join Mr. Bacon on a mouth-watering mosey through Meatland. On your journey, you'll have to navigate your way through the mustard marsh, cross the eerie expanse of Wiener Wasteland, and sail on the Sausage Sea. If you make it past the deceptive detour of Vegan Alley and avoid getting grounded in Gristle Grotto, you just might make it to the great frying pan at the end of the trail. Good luck on your high cholesterol journey. And so let's open this up and see what's in it. So when I take the plastic off and we'll see what this game's all about. So I was told that this is basically a reskinning of Candyland, except that they put it in a world of meat. So we have the cover here let's see this cover is pretty on there pretty tight there we go and of course we have your standard you know length board game it's pretty generic length and we take a look at this and here is the board so the board is a giant world of meat as you can see here and there's a spinner right in the center So, it, unlike Candyland, which is a card-driven game, what else is in this? Let's see, we have these, which are, I'm guessing, some kind of movement card like in Candyland. Let's take a look. Open that up. And these are, these are uh, cards that tell you what you're going to do, move forward or backward. Um, another one here that says, uh, switch places. With the next player ahead of you or behind you. And yet another one, just to give you some idea of what these are like. It says, go swimming in the sausage sea. So kind of some silly cards there. Uh, here's another one that says, move backwards, five spaces. So pretty generic. And then we have our uh, little, it looks like it only it plays four. It says it plays up to four, so I'm guessing there's actually a solo mode in this. I don't know why you play it by yourself, but you actually got four little bacon movers. I guess that's Mr. Bacon, uh, four different colors of Mr. Bacon, and they're actually kind of and they're actually kind of thick plastic, so it's not something that's just going to fall apart on you. But still, it's kind of a silly concept. And then it comes with the stands for those, a plastic tray for holding everything. And then it has these rules. So let me go over the rules with you. It says, Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure Rules. Object, be the first strip of bacon to the frying pan. 